Hey guys, so welcome back for more Bad Dream Fever with me, Supernautus. Hello. Uh, last time out we arrived in this dream world and found out that uh, all the people had their blood replaced by ink. Uh, and that we have to try and find a way to stop it. It turns out it was created by somebody. So we are trying to track down the author of the game. Um, and there is a way to do it. There was supposed to be some kind of multiplayer mode that you could activate. Uh, however, it didn't work, but there is a way to make it work. What is this? You see, so the thing we were supposed to be able to do is this. Click that, multiplayer game. No, I was afraid of that. The multiplayer option is inactive. You need to fix it somehow. How do we fix it? Well, now that's the question, isn't it? So, if I have a look here... There should be something I can take. Bit of cable, that's what we want. If I now do it again... Oh, still not there. That's fine. What we need to do is take this. Pop it there. And now we can change that to yes. It's interesting, isn't it? So now, we have extra cursors moving around. Please, please. It was full of new players. The cursors are doubling and tripling. The eyes don't know where to look. I hope that it won't mistake them with yours. I think that for some time this will distract the creator's attention from our actions. Try looking again for the author's address. For this we need a phone book. So that was what we were trying to do. We were trying to... We were trying to get the phone book from the phone box next to this bus stop. We couldn't do it before, but we can now. I know this address. Unfortunately, it's a bit far. You'll need to go through the gate of the old town. This is the only way to the author's office. Okay, well... We will do that. I think we did everything we need to do in here. I'm just trying to think what I need to do. Uh, is there definitely nothing we needed to do with this cash register slash till? Looks like not. Okay, so we have to go out of town. To do that, we have to first of all go to the city gates. The city gates here. Dead person bag we looked in before, I think. Hmm, you see these strange recesses and protrusions? Let's take a closer look. Seems to me there should be a mechanism lifting the gate. I would imagine so. It only lacks the appropriate device. What device? Where would, where would we find the device we need to find? I don't know. In here? Maybe she's got something. Do you think that I have somewhere here a mechanism to open the gate? Sure, it's right next to the drawbridge and railway gear. Don't know why you would, but I don't collect such scrap metal. Come on. I don't live in such a dump. Okay, so she doesn't, she doesn't have anything that'll help us. I'm trying to think where else there might be something like that. Um, what about in there? Well, that's something. What is that? A strange device. Okay, well that that is that is something. I, I don't know what it is, but I guess if we go to the gate, we'll see if this is what we're looking for. It looks like it is. We need to put five coins in there. This is called deadly inflation. The entire bag of coins is worth less than the gold from which they were made. I'm missing a coin. I'm missing a coin! What in the world was that? Something broke. That window? 
Hello, stranger. Travelling in this area is not one of the safest activities. Some people could unknowingly cause symptoms of sickness. Okay. Stiff dialogues bring a real headache. This is a character from Bad Dream Coma. Personality devoid of character. In a few minutes it will make you vomit. Be careful. I feel today extremely nauseated. Wouldn't want you to have such a mood. Don't peek. Right, okay. We got a key from there. And we've unlocked the door. Huh. So a few minutes of playing that guy and I'm not surprised the author drowned everyone in a sea of ink since his previous character was so passionless. It's clear that now he's questioning his skills and is obsessively improving everyone. This could explain why I'm the only one who survived. Why are you suggesting that you're perfect? Apparently I'm walking perfection and I don't require any adjustment. Now, are you? The presentation of the author's skills for creating characters is complete. We can move on. It's very nice on your part that you found the key and opened the door. Thanks to that, we don't risk cutting ourselves crawling through a broken window. Well, are you going? We don't have... Great. We forgot about removing the security tag. It's good that the police are indisposed. Yeah, but... Did that? That didn't do anything. Maybe it would be better if we leave this location. Yeah, you're probably right, because I'm pretty sure that will bring things to us. The noise is too much to take. Please, you first. What a terrible noise. It resounds through the entire city. If not for the circumstances, I'd say that it would even raise the dead. That's very loud. And I have a concern that you might not be able to hear me. <laughs> For sure it will direct the author's eyes on us, in this case even additional cursors will not help. It's just for now leaving this place and thinking about how to turn off the alarm. Oh, at last that noise is no longer in my head. Well, we'll talk to her about it here then. Actually I know how to turn off the alarm, the solution's quite unconventional. Well on the other hand quite obvious what smashed the thing to pieces. Maybe you came upon it yourself. You'll have a lot of satisfaction if you solve the puzzle yourself. Will I? Right. Oh, come on. After all, someone has to keep me company. You rarely visit me. Oh, don't go feeling so special. I was joking. I noticed the objects that occurred in the previous game really attract the author's attention. In the event that a virus finds my hiding place, this puppet will give us more time to escape. The author has an aversion to the previous blood that blurring the puppet will take a few m moments. What? What I am going to do, because I think there is a way that I can... What I can do, is if I turn the sounds off, it's the way to go. Muting the sound should take care of the alarm. It's like a game within a game. You have to be... You have to always be thinking about all these kinds of ideas. So now if I go back to downtown, there's no noise. I can hear the game music, because it's obviously not a proper... Uh, it's not properly turning the sound off, but it's turning the sound off on the uh, thing. What have we got? 2910. That piece of paper with the code was lying there all this time. Yeah. And you wrecked the machine that I would that I would enter the... Now is not the time to collect money. Here we have a bigger problem. You can expand your coin collection later. Well, I can't go to the author's house if I can't have that coin. Okay. What about this? The rock completely destroyed it. If you'd shown me earlier the paper with the code, we wouldn't have had this problem. Well, if you hadn't just smashed the machine up... Don't blame yourself. It can be fixed somehow. How? A device with a keyboard and display would be nice. With a little cunning, it'll allow you to enter the code. Well, there was a... Inside there, there's a computer. Can we have that? Or the calculator. That has a keyboard and a display, right? Maybe that's good enough. Hmm. 
Oh look, we can connect a calculator up to the thing. Two nine one oh. The code turned out to be correct. The device worked. The alarm was turned off for good, so you can now turn on the sound. That didn't actually turn the sound off, though, did it? But you know, we'll do it anyway. Not that it actually makes any difference to anything. Okay, so we should be able to take this coin now. And now that should allow us to open that gate and get the heck out of here. At least I hope it will. Let's see. The gate's open. And now what do we have? We should be somewhere else we're going to, is there? Don't see it. What are we looking at here? Wait. Oh, that's, that's new. That's new, I think. Yeah, we've not been there before. Okay. Oh, doors are locked. Smash the window before me is a very important mission. I must somehow convince the author to restore an earlier version of the game. For certain he has it saved in the archive. This is the best idea that I have. Don't count on a warm welcome. The author clearly did not want you to look at his work at this stage. Let's hope when he sees how far he went that he'll change his approach. Maybe he'll even forgive you for breaking the glass in his door. Really, you cannot force open all doors that stand in your way. It's a big difference between breaking things belonging to corpses and demolishing the property of someone who's not yet given up the ghost. I'll explain it to you later. I won't hold you any longer. Well, thank goodness for that. All my hope is in you. Talk to the author. Help to save this project. Yeah, okay. Oh, there he is. What are you doing here? I made it clear to you that the game's not ready yet. This is a very early version. It's not perfect yet. You cannot look at my project in this state. All the errors and glitches. This whole game needs to be trashed. Don't let me and you suffer any longer. Come back when it'll be perfect. What's happening? Oh, we've got a little uh, command prompt again. We can't obviously actually type anything. All right, we're inside. We're outside his house again. But this time we can't get in through that hole that we just made. Uh, well, maybe we can go somewhere else. Well, apparently not. Apparently the only place we can go is here, where we were already. So what else is there? What's that? There's a tooth tied to a car. Is there anything there that's actually useful? Doesn't look like it. Let's see what else there is. Oh, bit, bit of old chewing gum. Just what we want. I can't even use the items that I'd collected up till now. I wonder. I can stick that chewing gum on the tooth. Does that help me? Bit of glass. So now I can have this tooth on a string. I'm not really sure what I want a tooth on a string for, but it's the only thing I can really see. What else do we have around us? Phone box, can't go through there. What about this? Well, it looks like it's suggesting I can use the tooth on a string down there, I don't know. Okay, we got another coin. Maybe we can, oh, maybe we can make a phone call. Hello? It's you? Couldn't you contact me using the walkie-talkie? What's happening? Why can't I see anything? What did the author say? Did he agree to... Was that lightning? What do we have around us that we can use? Can we use anything here? No. I'm just thinking maybe I could take something from the car. But nothing seems to be reacting other than... Other than that. I can't tell. I'm trying to see... No, okay. Oh, I can take that car antenna. 
can I make this into a mobile phone? Apparently I can make this into like a walkie-talkie. Hello, apparently the conversation with the author did not go well. The worst assumption has come true. It's really hard for me to understand this guy. Why does he treat players this way? He blurred your entire inventory and destroyed the map. I thought the author's heart would soften when he personally meets a fan of his own project. Don't be silly. I had no idea he would act so rude to you. He just threw you out without even any semblance of courtesy. I know that it doesn't look good. You're certainly tired of such treatment. After all, I'm not surprised. However, I have a big request for you. Don't give up yet. Turning on this game, you expected an interesting story and a lot of fun. Well, the first one anyway. Instead, you came upon an unfinished project where the author did not even have time to write any story. From our first meeting, you didn't ask any unnecessary questions. You're doing what I asked. I realise this is not what a player expects from a normal game, that he plays for fun. Your help, though, is priceless for me. This game is my entire reality. All people that I knew are dead. Every minute, the space around me shrinks. The author is systematically destroying every location. Once this world looked so beautiful, today it's only a shadow of what it used to be. Please help me find a solution. Meeting with you gave me hope that everything can still be repaired. If you go, I don't have too many arguments and strength to oppose the author's will. Right, if you'd like to stay and help me, I have a plan that I want to discuss with you. In the meantime, you need to concentrate on finding the way back to my hiding place. The lack of the main map's a big obstacle, but you're a resourceful person. I'm certain that with a little desire you can find a suitable manner. You've been doing great so far. I'm counting on you. Good luck. Right. So we have to find a way to... Oh, that looks like a new map. Can I Can I have that? Oh, I can... Ah! Did you show up at the bus stop? It's real close to my hiding place. We must meet and talk. Unfortunately, the main map's destroyed and all the known roads lead through it. Hmm. We must somehow leave the bus stop without using the map. Hmm. I hope you don't have claustrophobia. You could try to get to me through sewers. My hiding place is close to the bus stop. You should not have a problem finding the way. Find something you can use to lift the cover and roll up your pants and block your nose. See you at my place. Right, so I need to get down there. Well, there was that building site here, wasn't there? Well, is there something I can use here to lift the manhole cover? Um, I'll take a stone, because they're always useful. So, ah, that'll, that should work for lifting the manhole, I would have thought. There we go. Easy! Warning danger. I mean, yeah, that's a good thing to warn against. You should definitely warn against danger. Oh, what's this? Is this my way out? Looks like it is. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Hmm. The underground route's more complex than I thought, but now it's too late to give up. The sewers can't be such a big labyrinth. Just a little determination, you'll definitely reach me, don't worry. If your clothes will smell, we'll wash them. What an irony of fate. You wore a mask throughout the whole game, although you really didn't need it. You lost it just before the time when it finally would be useful and would slightly neutralise the smell of the sewers. I did. But this isn't where I wanted to go, so what are we doing? Maybe I can open this now. Oh, well, we got another crowbar, because well, there was one stuck behind ink there. So I guess I guess that's good. Um, maybe we can now... Yeah, there we go. We'll lever that open. We've got a ladder. Must be dark in the sewers because you obviously got lost again. Hmm. I've got an idea of how we may use your small mistake. Remember that camera from the school's monitoring? Last time it looked completely operable. If you manage to get it, I'll be able to see what you're doing again. Good point. Good point. We're lucky the camera's still here. I think it still works. It's hanging too high to get without some assistance. Right. Maybe we can... What about down the side of the school? In this little alleyway. Come back later, it says there. But I don't think that's what we want. Uh, what we can use is that ladder that we had before. 
and now we've got a camera. Which is good, because that's kind of what we needed. What can we do? What else can we do? Hmm. Oh, we could go down this sewer. We could go down there. Oof. We need to get, we'll obviously need to give that something. If I... Oh, well, hang on, if I go up here, there might be some food, right? At this picnic. Can of sardines? Can I have any of these? I mean, what? That's what I need, right? Maybe I needed to actually click on that alligator thing. Do you think? Do you think I needed to click on it so that I could go, oh, I need to feed it? I was afraid that sooner or later you'd encounter an animal. I suggest you keep a safe distance. The teeth look sharp. Although you lived through the ink attack and the wrath of the author, with this opponent you absolutely don't have any chance. I don't know if the author programmed you for any additional life. For certain you can't bypass it. He's looking at you with hungry eyes. Maybe feed it something. Give it dinner. Every beast softens at the sight of a tasty snack. Yeah, that's probably what we needed to do. We probably needed to go through that conversation. Maybe now that'll allow us to... Um, to take some of that food from that picnic. I mean, why would you click on this? It's a fish. A little fishy. Fishy, fishy fish. Let's see. Maybe this is enough to get it to go away. Have a fish. Nope. I brought an appetizer, just a little something to munch on. That's a bad idea. We'd eat an entire crate of such fish and we'd still feel hungry. I need another solution. Another solution. Well, let's get a fish, but let's then see if we can poison it in some way. I guess. If we can poison a fish, maybe... Here we got another fish. Don't feed it to it yet. Could there be anything else in the school that we could use? Uh, just trying to think. In the little janitor's room. Oh, there's like poison there, isn't there? Some poisoned fish. That should work, right? If we poison the alligator, it'll leave us alone. Just throw the poisoned fish straight in its mouth. Okay, it's dead. Now we can go through here. <laughs> oh, what is this? We've got a maze. Looks like a sewerage map to me. Since ours is useless, we'll use this. It's fairly precise. With it, you can get to each location without problems. First, come to me. We have a few things to decide upon. Have I got to draw a line to this again? Oh no, I can just click and go there, that's fine. And we're in the bathroom. We're finally in her house. Meeting with the author was a disappointment. You can't rely on him or count on his support. But still, nothing's lost. I thought of another solution. I wrote a special program that should take away the author's permission to control the game. Right now it's compiling. It's at 22%. We have to wait a few moments until the process is finished. So what's going on now? Uh, she's getting covered in ink. Not now, this again. I need to wash this ink off as soon as possible. She's gone to the bathroom. What's going on? Everything's starting to ink up, look. All these tools. I don't have any more cleaning products. Everything has finished. Don't have any strength. I feel weak. Oh well, yeah, she, so is she going to die now as well? And now I've got no assistance after getting that camera and everything working again. Can't even... Can't even do anything. Everything's been... Having problems. 
What are you waiting for? Run! Uh, here we should be safe, at least for the time being. You can probably guess why I could not just take a sample of healthy blood from myself. Ink was my problem for a long time. Well, yeah, if you've been drawn. I temporarily washed it off using cleaning products, but now they've finally come to an end. At the beginning, I thought that it was kind of a virus. I was so stupid. Ink thinned my waist, enlarged the bust, smoothed my face. It just improved me. The author was behind all this, of course. He wanted to improve me at any price. He also corrected other people. He did this to the extent that their bodies were not able to bear such ink. And you saw what it did. In such a situation, it's clear the author is not using common sense. We can only take away his permission to modify the game and find a solution on our own. Find a working computer and run the program from this CD. Please hurry, I don't have any more cleaners and without them it won't last too long. Okay, uh, in that case... Can we go back down the well? Hmm. Okay, so we've got a load of crosses. Uh, where though do we go? About this place. Ah! Yes. If I go to this apartment building, and in there, we've got a computer. Why are you still here? Maybe you're playing to mock errors and glitches. I already told you that the project's not ready. Come back in a year or two and it'll be perfect. The RPG world will be open. I also thought about 3D graphics. I will definitely add some zombies. Randomly generated levels, expanded crafting system. Now it's hopeless, but... The computer didn't endure the author's madness. One might think he destroyed the equipment to prevent our plans. He's completely nuts. Okay. He's so crazy he overheated the computer and blew up the monitor. I imagined him as... Up to now I was furious with him, but now... His elevator doesn't go to the top floor. For his own good, we must take away his permission to edit this project. Was there some kind of background issues in developing this game? Maybe he'll be relieved of some pressure and rest a little. Find a way to repair the equipment and launch my program. Repair a smashed monitor. And a burnt out computer. The monitor's good for nothing. You need to repair the screen somehow. Rather than say, I don't know, replace it. Well, let's see, what have we got around us? Get some broken glass again. That'd be useful. Uh, what else? What else, though? Can't go that way. I can take an ice cream cone. That would that would help to cool down the thing, right? Uh, oh yeah, I need to. Yeah, I've got a cone, but I need an ice cream. There we go. Got an ice cream. Should that allow us to... Should that allow us to cool down the computer, do you think? I mean, I don't know if... I don't know if really sticking ice cream on your computer is a great idea, I'm going to be honest. I don't really think you should try it, but... Well, that's that thing about the potato battery. Hey, look, we could, we could sellotape some glass onto the monitor. Ridiculous. The entire game will go into a very specific mode which will not allow us to communicate. Follow your intuition and pay attention to the signs. Don't waste any more time. What? I'm getting weaker with each second that passes. Right. Oh. Oh. It's being broken down. We're, getting, we're exiting the matrix. I don't know. It's telling me where to go. Okay. What are we supposed to do? I 
Was there anything else to do there? I don't know where the heck I'm going. I can't even see the red crosses. That's where he was. I can't see the crosses to be able to work out where I'm going. That's, I don't think that's where I want to go. Where does this take me? Okay. I don't think that's where I want to go, actually. No, there doesn't appear to be anywhere we need to go out here, so now I'm confused. Right, we went to the art gallery, we took a lock off that. But what does that do? Oh, we can change, we can change colours on the screen. Okay. I mean, it basically tells us exactly where to go, so. Okay, now we've unlocked something there. Any signals? Any like flashes? Hmm. Ah. In blue. Now we're going here. And then there. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, nothing's flashing now. So I guess we've got to look at all the places. Well, there's a lot. What does that do? Oh, is it going back? Everything's back to normal. Woo! So what have we got? Some time ago I saw the author outside. Since you limited his permission to control the game, he decided to apply corrections manually. Uh, okay. We should use this opportunity to search his office. This may be our only chance to see what else he's hiding. Don't worry about me. If he gets too close, I'll punch him in his stupid head. Where was his office? It was that... This one, wasn't it? Okay, we've arrived. In his office. What's around? Something there. Some sort of piece of paper. Hmm. I probably need to put that up there with this, don't I? Any more paper lying around? Oh, maybe that. Is that it, do you think? Looks like it. What is it? It's a picture of a cat. I can have an empty can. What a spoiled cat. It looks like it only eats canned food. It obviously already ate everything and never thought about hunting. But honestly, I don't have the strength for this anymore. Let's deal with this matter as soon as possible. This is an unfinished location. But it's clear that feeding the cat was supposed to be the main puzzle here. Simply bring it something to eat. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Maybe it'll move us a bit forward. Oh, there's something flickering there. What just happened? I've glitched! You unlocked some new option. You should check it. Other. Horror mode, no or yes. The horror option sounds attractive. We certainly need more drama. Do we? Do we really need more drama? I've got a can label. 
I've got a can label. What do I need that for? Hmm. How do I get out of here? Can I get out of here? I'm thinking. Which one was the school again? Was it this one? Yeah. I want to see if I can find. Because if I have a look. Fish, mouse and bird without artificial preservatives and colours. I would expect that we need to collect ingredients to feed the... There's a mouse there. Hmm. How am I supposed to... Supposed to catch it? I jumped as I was about to. That's a mouse, right? But how do I get it? That didn't do anything. There is a mouse there, right? I mean, I'm not wrong. That is a mouse. Apparently, I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Okay, we can't do anything with that mouse but we need a mouse right is there another mouse there is no mouse that we can have we need mouse meat right I mean that's what is suggested uh, what else can we do then There must be a way to get this. Oh. Somehow the mouse died. It must have drunk the poison. I don't know. I can't really think of why, what happened to it. What does that take me? Oh, that takes me here. Dead bird with a fish in its mouth. Oh. So we've got a dead bird and a fish. She's been scraped out, so we can't do anything with her. It'd be good to have something to light a fire, then throw in the appropriate ingredients and it's ready. Okay. So I need a, I need a match or something to light this with, is what you're saying. I mean, it's gone to horror mode, but what what is there? It's just got a slightly odd filter around it. That's a picture. Oh, I can have that part of the drawing now. It's possible this fragment will be useful for completing some of the author's sketch. Okay. Well, what else do we have? Oh, and he's got a lighter. Yeah, that'll work. That'll definitely work. Go back here. So now we should be able to light this. And I guess fill that with the cat food ingredients. <laughs> which will then let me uh which will then let me feed that cat in the picture. Needlessly difficult. That's not really difficult, it's just odd. I have some food cat. And under that we find a sketch. Okay, just going to stick that up there. It's a fire! It's a fire! Oh, I got a piece of a figurine. That's the, um, in the school locker. In the locker in the school, there was a figurine. 
that was missing some missing its arm. It was in that locker, wasn't it? I think you're carrying its hand in your backpack. Uh oh, you can glue it back. Maybe it'll be of some use. Well, if I could do that, then that would be fine, wouldn't it? Oh, do you know what? I reckon I can probably find uh, if I go there. Yeah. I thought I saw some glue here somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm, let me think. Oh. There might be another place I can find it. Maybe if I go to his office, maybe he has something we can use to stick that together. Oh, Chiba Glue, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice and easy. I went a bit soon to the uh, school, I think. Should have probably checked around there before I did. Okay. So now I should be able to glue this back on. And now I've got a figurine of a butcher. Now where? I think I want to go there. I think, I mean, I, you know, I'm kind of, aha. Why did you do this? Are you aware of the consequences of this action? I developed a special program for finding errors and editing them. You took away from me the right to manage the project. Now the program's going crazy without any control. Because of your irresponsible behaviour, I will definitely not be able to finish this game on time. I have to apply all the patches manually. Do you know how much work that is? In addition, I don't know what the self-correcting program is capable of doing without my supervision. Please. Turn off this game and don't return until it's finished. I really don't want you to see my project in this condition. The moment this game is completely useless, but don't worry, I'll make a few corrections and it'll be perfect. I promise. Right. I keep the old graphics style, he says. There are not enough sounds in this project. Why did I even give you the main map? The only character who managed to escape my attention was this girl. She doesn't fit at all the game's climate. This location looks strange. I need to focus on work. The school lobby. I forgot to finish this location. Well, I guess that's where he's going then. So I guess we're going to keep following him until something happens. Please. Okay, but he's not. I can't do anything with him. I wonder if we can find anything. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do, actually. I just missed something happening there. I don't know what it was. Everything was shaking. But there was a drawing that we got there, wasn't there? Oh, I can put that there. Okay. <laughs> I guess. What's that? Oh, another picture. This is of the, um, this is of the clothes shop, isn't it? Got a fire extinguisher. Oh, that I can probably use on that. Put the fire out. Pretty here, the window happened to be burned. This place must be aired out. I hope you'll solve it somehow. That's what that other part of the drawing was all about, wasn't it? I think that was the suggestion. Uh, another piece of paper on the floor. Now what? Another option for the collection. But what is it? Uh, no, I think I'm going to turn that off. Let's turn violence and blood off. That should help us, right? That should stop anything from, from, from getting us. 
I imagine. <laughs> Let's try here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it can't do anything. Oh, she's not doing well. She might be dead. And now, now she's been wiped out completely. Oh, we can go through this gate now. Look at all these. This is where all the bodies filled with ink have gone. And the ink's running down the down here. Hmm. What is this? What is going on? We found some kind of horror scene. Oh, it's not what you think. I put all these dead creatures there. Created this world a long time ago. Then it gave me great fun. Each new element made me excited. Unfortunately, I've already become indifferent to the advantages of the game. The only things I see are errors and glitches. Each location's full of them. All these characters. At the beginning, they seemed to be great. With time, I began to perceive spelling mistakes in dialogues. Logical inconsistencies in the puzzles. Hmm. I wanted to somehow improve it. I wrote so programmed to correct my errors. Unfortunately, I let my madness take over. The criteria which I set were excessive and my game could not cope. Instead of helpful tools, I programmed a virus. Seeing how many patches my program made, I believed that the project's useless. I fell into a vicious circle of making changes. The longer I looked at the project, the less I saw its strengths. Each element that once gave me satisfaction and joy became a source of potential errors and glitches. <sighs> This is my previous project, more specifically my idea of how it looks like. I literally jumped for joy when I created it. Today I only see shortcomings. They're not great, but my madness exaggerates them. I see only defects. Anyway, you'll see. When you run that game, I'm sure the virus will follow you. Such a diversion will divert the attention of the program, so I'll have time to undo the damage. I promise that I'll restore the working version of the game and I won't touch it. I won't evaluate it. I'll let others do so. Oh, I won't hold you any longer. Good luck. So he's given me an unsigned CD. Well, the best place to probably check that out would be on his computer, right? Because he used that computer to create the game. I mean, I, I guess... What do you want? Nothing you can do. <laughs> oh look, it's it's bad dream coma. Or well, just coma. New game, yeah, this is the game I remember it. There wasn't much you could really do. Oh there's that guy. What are you doing here? Do you want me to erase you? I have an eraser, I can do it. In your place? I wouldn't put off this decision too long. Something's clearly not right with this place. Better to leave this dream now before it becomes a bigger nightmare. Believe me. Oh. Now he's wiping out elements of the old game. Did you see that? What's going on here? The strange robot. Oh. Uh oh, we're being followed. I can't go anywhere, there's nowhere. I actually can't move. I think we're pretty much resigned to being caught by this thing then. I guess. Given that there are no other options. No other options at all. I just wish it would uh, fill up a bit quicker. Now that we know we're trapped. It's like a banging noise now as well in the background. Like a boom boom boom. Or maybe I'm just imagining it. What now? Or game over, you've, you know. Game over, you're finished. 
Well, now I'm hearing. Really? Looks like a grave. And there's that guy again. It came from over there. Now we're in the graveyard with this guy. What kind of mind thought of such a monster? He erases everything it meets. In no time at all, he destroyed our entire city. We, you brought this creature to our world. Now help us to remove it. Go, we need to get to the hospital. How? How am I going to go there? We don't have any time to waste. Oh. Is this going to be the same layout as, as it was originally? Because I don't know if I can remember where you need to go. It's not that way. Uh, well, maybe it is. The whole world began to behave abnormally. Additionally, this strange creature maniacally erases all the pieces. Good news is it uses a pencil, so we can erase it using an eraser. Unfortunately, the piece you have we use too small for me to restore the world. We'll worry about that later. Now we have to get out of here and stop this monster before the environment is degraded further. I'll share my razor with you, but I'm asking you to please use this piece with care. It's a very valuable object that can save someone's life. First things first, let's wipe out the gate, right? Now, which way did we have to go? We said the hospital, right? The situation looks worse than I thought. Yeah, this is the hospital. I'll look around the area to see if there are any survivors and estimate the damage. You check inside the building. I hope you'll find a way to defeat this robot. Yeah, so do I, but it's there. Oh, I guess we're going to chase it then, because it ran away. Um, if I remember rightly... Ah! Can't use the computer there. Oh! It's there again! And now it's gone. That was like the waiting room, wasn't it? Ah! Uh oh! I don't even know. I can't get out of here, can I? I can't get out of here! Ah, uh, yes I can. Ah, yes I can. I caught him out. My eraser stops him from getting me. So now I should be able to plug this computer in, right? I mean, I, mean, I think. Oh, games. Coma. We're back. Load game. Apartment. I guess that's a way to get around. And a cassette on the floor and some CDs. Maybe we can watch the TV through this cassette. A VHS guide without commentary to Bad Dream Coma. What? Oh, wait a minute, though. I can use it to get there. Oh, now we're doing some sort of Inception type thing. Bridge? Is this loading us into the bridge on the other side? Installation completed successfully. Right, and now what? Scan for it. Scan the antivirus. See if we find any virus threats. No threats detected. Oh, now we've got bridge. Oh, it is literally the bridge. Oh, what's this? Autocorrect installation. I can't close this. Um. If I do enough of these, it might not be able to stop all of them. It's it's gradually wiping them out, but if I do enough of these, it might have a problem doing it. Like keep spamming windows. That's what you do, right? I mean, it's not, but until 
The virus has been removed, it says. It says. Now I understand. Only the author could have invented a creature like this. I thought he was a great, has a greater impression of his own work. It doesn't matter. The people who visited this place seemed satisfied. This is the only thing that counts for me. Now that you've removed the personification of the author's madness, everything may go back to normal. Unfortunately, I don't know what else to tell you. As far as I know, you should be in a different game now. Such a situation was not provided for in my scripts. So don't be offended, but... Bye. Recommended for me Bad Dream Fever trailer. Let's hit play. Oh. We're back here. Well, that's the way out. That's the way out of this room, right? We've got the lock here, which obviously... Okay, no, that worked this time. Hmm. Oh, there's, oh, there's a note. Hey, thank you for your help you gave me. You appeared in this mess without any context. You expected a game and you landed up in a patchwork of unfinished locations. I was a random girl for you who, saving time on the explanations, immediately asked you for favours. Despite this, you stayed to the end. You fixed this mess. Removing the virus caused the author to regain full control over the complete project. As he promised, he restored the project to an earlier state. Thanks to you, all my close friends live again. I hope you're not offended with me for thanking you in the form of a letter. The current version of me is another person than the one you met. Nothing traumatic happened to me, so I no longer need to hide my suffering with jokes. I'm not crazy either, because I'm not surrounded by talking paintings. For the first time in a very long time, I don't have to wear a mask. I don't know if you believe me or not, but in this world, I can even change the batteries myself. <laughs> so I'm saying goodbye to you in this way. I have the impression that you saw me, saw in me anyway, a complete stranger. Who knows? Maybe the author will use me in some other project. We would have the opportunity to meet in other circumstances. You would know me as the person who I really am. Now it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you once again for the help. Don't forget about me. Because I certainly will not forget about you. Ella. That's her name. That was her name. Ella. Oh, and uh, the screen's going all... Pale and bright. The end. That was Bad Dream Fever. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button. Maybe add a subscription too. That would be nice. Uh, and I'll see you next time, I guess. Now let's turn the TV off and go home. Goodbye.